someone was asking about the number of choices and, and three is actually a, a helpful number to think of. And the reason it's helpful is, you know, two is not really a choice. It's like, you know, A or B, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a choice. Um, whereas three, you can, you can hold three variables in mind uh, unless they're really complicated each. You actually can hold three variables in mind reasonably well and compare and contrast them um, in our working memory. When you try to hold four things in mind and compare and contrast them, it actually starts to, to fall off the cliff of, um, of literally the, 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 the resources we have for our, uh, for our working memory. And so it's hard to actually compare and contrast them. And once you get to five, it's like almost impossible. So you can, comp you can imagine three different scenarios and pick between them. Um, and it, re it really feels like a choice. Lisa Smith saying two is a dilemma, three is a choice. One of the things that, that we're constantly thinking about is how do, we, you know, how do we accelerate possibilities? So I think a year ago, two years ago, we would have said, oh, we just can't do that, right? Just can't, that too hard, too complicated, too something, right? Um, and I think that the idea, um, in fact, we did it we did, and we were scrappy in terms of how we how we did the survey and how we pulled things together. But um, you know, I think I think just about anything's possible, and if you can follow um, the science, you have more confidence that your experiment right is is going to be is going to have elements of success and elements of learning um, right. that you can build upon. And so, I think for us, um, you know, being able to accelerate possibilities is another piece right. that you know, we're, we're, we're proud of and, and we're glad that we pushed on.